This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports on a Monday. I am Julian Gibson sitting in for Jonathan Benson, who is in a place I need to go, vacation. Well, the Bahamas Basketball Federation will now concentrate on naming the top 40 basketball players in the country. We are putting together something that we regarded as the biggest historical activity that has happened for basketball. Um, we have gone to a number of funerals recently and other persons have passed, and we made a determination that we won't allow one more person to die who was related uh, to basketball without getting their props and their due. So we are attempting to name the 40 greatest Bahamian basketballs, basketball players ever. And let me add, that's inclusive of those individuals who may have played uh, professional ball like Mike, uh, Michael Thompson, Rick Fox, um, Ian Lockett, and Dexter Cambridge. So, um, but we want it to be a participatory um, effort where the public actually can write in or um, list those individuals um, on their own. And come May 10th, the Bahamas Judo Association will stage their event. It's time for me to get my skills together. I'm pleased to announce that the Bahamas Judo Open International Tournament and Training Camp will take place on May 8th through the May 10th. The training camp will be held at the Atlantis Resort on the 8th and the 9th, and the tournament, which is open to the public, will be held on May 10th at the Kendall G. L. Isaacs Gymnasium. This event, though led by the Bahamas Judo Federation, is actually made possible because of the work of the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture, the Bahamas Olympic Committee, and the Cuban Embassy. Cuba is recognized as one of the top judo countries in the world. And it's through events like these that our friendships develop as a country uh, between countries. And folks, you do not want to miss this event because there will be no easy fights on the card. We have six of Cuba's top junior judo fighters, led by one of their best coaches, attending this event. We also have 11 number one ranked athletes from the United States of America, um, include among them a youth Olympic gold medalist that will be attending this event. And of course, they will compete against our own national champions, both in individual competitions and team competition. And finally in sports, with the Bahamas softball men's national team finishing at the CAC qualifying tournament with a record of one and four, some might ask, what is needed now to make the team much stronger? Well, let's ask some of the competitors Team Bahamas went up against. Bahamas is a good team. Uh, I was talking yesterday with a pitcher from Bahamas. He was asking me some questions about grips and stuff. They're young kids, and they swing the ball hard, and they're, they're getting better. They're a good team, unbelievable team. You need to send a player from USA, pitcher, and a couple more players, you know? That's it. Need. You need training a lot, you know? Training and, and find out pitcher from somewhere, USA, you know? But you need, you need pitcher, you need more players. I think they, they had to do the same, go to play in, in, in United States. In Orlando? See, yeah, in Orlando. See the uh, better pitcher, you know, and uh, I think they, they can they can, they can can better, get better. Well, that's all the time for Sports on a Monday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight continues after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.